Now to a News 3 investigation. More than 400 children are missing in Virginia right now, according to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. But most have not received an Amber Alert. That's because many of them are considered runaways. There's often less urgency and resources deployed by law enforcement to find them because they chose to leave. But it's important to point out here that parents say that does not mean their young children are not in any kind of danger. And this morning in my investigation, I'm getting to the bottom of the problem in this Have You Seen Me special report. Every day that passes, I, you know, I get worried, more worried every day. 13-year-old Angelo Graham's been missing from Williamsburg nearly two months. It's, it's very stressful, um, a lot of sleepless nights. We learned about the boy's disappearance when his father called our newsroom last month. He worried James City County Police weren't exhausting every effort to find the boy because he has a history of running away. Abduction, runaways, all should be treated the same, especially if it's a child, a minor, especially with the, the type of uh, circumstances that's going on, not in school, not taking his medication, you know, and like I said, he's only 13. Angelo Graham never received an Amber Alert. Neither did most of the more than 5,000 children reported missing on the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children's database. That's because Amber Alerts are designed for children 17 and younger who law enforcement believe were abducted and are in danger. 91% of our cases are what we call endangered runaways. Limi Kong Sofer with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children says just because a child ran away doesn't mean they aren't in danger. They uh, run into um, potential gang recruitment, um, certainly violence, being the victims of violence, whether it's physical, sexual abuse, um, homelessness, uh, protracted homelessness, um, recruitment into child sex trafficking. In Virginia, a missing child is anyone under 21 reported missing. There's no waiting period to report a child missing, even if they ran away. Local agencies have two hours to forward those reports to state and national databases. Most of the seven cities call for a search when taking a report for a missing child, but Portsmouth's policy draws a line when it comes to runaways, reading, in cases where the child is 13 and older and is known to be a chronic runaway, a supervisor will determine the extent of the search required. Several of the seven cities have an age they deem a missing child at risk. The policy in Norfolk, the city with the highest number of open missing cases in Hampton Roads at more than 60 reads, if a missing child is under the age of nine or is incapacitated or involved in a serious abduction, immediate action is required. The age of at risk in Suffolk is 13 or younger. It's under 12 in Virginia Beach and Chesapeake. So what about the kids older than that who ran away? It's up to each police department to decide how far they go to find them. We think, OK, they're out there and they, they walked uh, you know, on their own accord, but that doesn't mean that there aren't yeah, serious incidents of, of violence against these children. When it comes to the policy for James City County, where Angelo Graham was reported missing, the policy doesn't give its officers guidelines beyond state code, including initiating an investigation, completing an offense report and notifying all other law enforcement agencies in the area. All things James City County Police say they're doing to find Angelo Graham, but it won't satisfy a worried dad until his son walks back through the door. What more can I do that to, to basically beg you guys to, to step up your efforts? Now, as for Angelo Graham, uh, James City County Police tell me they believe that he is in Newport News with family, but they have yet to track the boy down in the last two months. Now, as for missing children, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children urges parents to make sure they report them to police even if they think their child ran away. Their stance is that a missing child is a missing child. Uh, they also say it's important to share your child's photo with police so that way it makes it onto state databases. If you've been watching, you know, the Jessica has also mentioned the, the disparity in coverage for people uh, who are uh, people of color who are missing. You did that on Monday morning. So does this apply when it comes to children as well? Yes. So we looked at an analysis from the Journal of Criminology and Criminal Justice about the, the disparity in coverage, and it found that 
especially for missing black children in national news coverage, uh, there was a huge disparity there. So we see that across the board, whether it's missing adults, missing children, especially for children who are missing because they ran away. So, okay, if you're a parent watching this morning and, and they feel they don't do law enforcement, maybe is doing enough, uh, exhausting their resources, you know, what can they do? So he here's the thing. Parents still need to report their child missing to police. That is so police, they have a two hour time limit and when they have to get that information to state and national databases. So it's again important that you report that to police. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, you can also call them. They have a 24 hour hotline. Uh, that number is 1-800-843-5678. That number is on WTKR.com inside this story. Uh, once it makes it on the National Center, uh, Center's database, uh, we're con committed here at News 3 to sharing that information as part of our Have You Seen Me coverage. Uh, but we, again, it's a stress to parents that they must report it uh, to police. You can also check out all of our investigations in our Have You Seen Me series right now at WTKR.com.